So, simple tutorial, easy. All you do to get the snap camera, this tutorial on getting the snap camera to work and uh, you know, also kind of like the requirements of getting it to work, it's getting it through OBS. I'm gonna show you that too. Bear with me, it's gonna take, uh, not gonna take long. Yeah, this is how you get the cat on OBS and uh, other things if you wanna do it. Or like any other filter, they got tons of filters. And other tips I'm gonna have to add. Alright, so first off, you just go on Google and you search for Snap Camera. And yeah, bring up this little ad. Yeah, it's it's free. Just click on it. And then you'll have this little thing here, you hit download. Did I go too fast? Okay. Hope I didn't go too fast. Okay, anyways, so the requirements is this right here for your operating system or Mac or your Windows. It says it right there. So make sure you read this carefully. It means you have to have a, a, a faster computer than this, and a preferably faster if you're planning on streaming with it. You know, this will get it to work, and you can probably record with it. But you also have to have a little bit of, a little bit of leeway. It might work, but that is the minimal requirements. Minimal. So bear with that. If it doesn't work and it jumps around, obviously you're going to have a little bit of issues with it. Okay, so after you go down here, simply you don't have to type in an email or anything. Just click this, do your little robot thing. I mean, sometimes it'll ask you to do a caption, but if you I don't know, buy it or whatever it is, it's for me now. Anyways, it'll have a caption here. Play the caption game. And then click down download for PC or if you're on a Mac, download for a Mac. So you're pretty much just gonna break it down here. Do your little thing if you're using Chrome or if you're using Explorer, you know how to get to your downloads folder. You can easily just go show in folder. I usually do that because for some reason I want to use from here. And once you bring up the downloads folder, you're going to click on the file that should pop up since it's got so many names. I'm not sensitive to be better. We're going to open up. Show in folder. There you are. It didn't want to pop it up. Alright, so it'll have this. And you just open and it'll bring up like a little ching. like it'll bring up a security thing like this and it's gonna, then it's gonna bring up another one you simply just install anyways this is windows 10 windows 7 might not do that it, it does ask for permissions anyway so you're gonna get another one you're gonna yes yes and then it's simply i already have it installed so you're simply just gonna hit the next 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 default settings make sure you don't have obs open or anything using your camera because if it's using it, you might have to, there's a couple glitches if it's using it, and sometimes it won't let your camera go. So you might have to restart your PC to get it to let go of your camera or close anything that's using it and wait a little bit, and it might detect it. Now, to get it to work with your, after you get that, you'll end up with this. This is another thing. You'll end up with this little featured interface, see? Honey, huh? Alright, so once you get this, you have all the search engines, you sort of favorites. Favorites is cool, so if you find a filter you like, you can search for a character. You can be on the main, you can search for all the characters you want, and simply just choose whatever you want. Go to the funny. You know, they got all, they keep adding new stuff to it. So you can have, you have quite a few, you know. Like, as soon as you click on them, it does this. Go to your favorites. Give me bacon. They got all sorts of cool stuff. All right. all right. So now to get it to work, make sure you get it to work with your thing. Now you can get it to if you have a camera that supports 60 frames, you can have that. You know, I can see why I have set 60 frames. But if you don't, you don't want to stress the heck out of your GPU or your encoder. I would recommend going at this or slow computers go even lower than that it's, you know you don't have to go at the highest if you know your pc can't support it i usually sit right there at that because that might play on my pc can handle that okay you see make sure you got it there make sure i mean also if you want to have you do have a green screen and if you want to use those effects through it make sure you click this button down here because it does help the uh effects kind of blend in with the green screen if you're using it with a green screen with obs or any other type of green screen and then you can do this. I usually leave it off because it seems to save a little bit of processing power. But you can put the snap code on if you end up having that thing stuck there. <laughs> you, you can either like, that'll turn it off and on. You know, this will enhance video. Yeah, it's, it, it'll, it'll, it'll help a little bit sometimes. 
I have not really noticed any difference with that. So you don't have to worry about the microphone. So once you got that installed, then you come over to your sources. I'm bringing this over here because you don't have to do this because you can actually drag it out. I don't like OBS Streamlabs with the similar steps. In your sources, you'll have a loop button will be at the top instead of the bottom. Either way, you simply just find your video capturing device, which is going to be, and I'm just going to add a new one just to show. So I'm going to create a new one. And then, uh, hold on, let me go. Uh, I got to turn it off. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a new one and it brings up this little window right here. And then uh, you're just gonna select your, cause you got your OBS, this is another thing too, you can actually use the OBS camera, so if you wanted to share your OBS view, you download that, I'll make another tutorial on that if you want. But that's actually another cool feature you can use. The snap camera is as similar as that, it just makes a duplicated, it duplicates your camera to another, driver so let's just say you got snap camera so you select snap camera you have to if it doesn't turn on immediately make sure that you have the defaults usually work but if it doesn't work you might have to use custom and then match the frames and then make sure that everything is you know in deactivate reactivate make sure because if it doesn't work see guys it's not working now usually if uh, that happens you have to go in Make sure you've got the custom, oh no, yeah, select the resolution. My bad, resolution. You gotta select the resolution that you want, and that's usually what it does. Usually the default settings will work, but if you just, uh, sometimes it doesn't detect the right thing. You gotta make sure that you're not having it. This resolution is, usually it's default, it works fine, but only with OBS camera, I think. Well, when you change it over here to go 60 frames, you have to change it over here. It will not work. And then sometimes you have to deactivate, reactivate, that even goes for regular cameras. So that might actually get it to work if you go over to this one and it's actually using it, deactivate it, that might, and then close out a snap camera, you might have to bring up the task manager. And then this also will fix it if you have a problem with that. If you do have a problem with that, you can go here and you can end the task, not OBS, but snap camera, end the task. Sometimes, even if you go to the bottom of the menu on your taskbar, you know, by your clock, it's actually usually right down by your clock, the bottom of the thing where you bring it up. It hides in there in the little up arrow. The little, I don't know if I can. I wish I could show it there. I don't know if I can. Anyway, you know what I mean. It's right by the clock, little up arrow. You'll see the little tiny icon of the snap camera. You can right click on that and quit that, but that might not close it completely out. For some reason, it still stays lingering up in here. I mean, they've updated it recently, but I've noticed it's still sticking up here and not, not fully closing out. So once you get it closed out and then you restart it, you don't have your camera being used. Sometimes you do have to restart your computer. I've noticed it even does it with mine. It's like you cannot get it to work sometimes. So bear with that. You do sometimes when it's first installed or even when you stop it and start using the camera on another device and trying to go back to snap camera might not work. Bear with that part. All right, now, after that, you're pretty much set. You should be able to use OBS snap camera with the, uh, with the filter. I mean, pretty much, it's just used just like any other camera in OBS. And I'm gonna discard the camera, just discard so I'm gonna delete that, I'm gonna delete it. So pretty much, that's how you get the snap camera to work. It's all right here, you know how to, you should know how to do all this stuff where you can just like transform it, resize it, you know, select it. And, this is the window, you'll see this right in the, right in the you know, box at the bottom that says sources, so it looks just like that. That's how you get OBS and Snap Camera to work together. Similar things if I need to make another tutorial, because I don't have a, a you know, mixed stream yards. But with Zoom, it's similar with Zoom. I can show you Zoom real quick. A tip for Zoom. Now Zoom is very similar. If you just open, you start up a new meeting with Zoom, and once you're in a new meeting with Zoom, I mean, it's pretty much, once you have Snap Camera installed, you just have to select your Snap Camera in the list right down here, you know. And then make sure, you know, another thing that you might have issues with is the audio, but that's that's just beyond the type of this, beyond the topic of this tutorial. So, anyway, so that's pretty much so simple. It's just this little arrow thing right here, you can find it, you know. And everything else, I mean, if I need to make, yeah, to make a tutorial on Zoom, I can do that too. I mean, it's like you have all your settings, it's really easy, you know. I like it, and then I maybe make a tutorial on how to like separate the zoom really easy and uh, and make different um, you know windows like I've been doing. But it, it is kind of a 
once you get it set up, you're done. But it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's tedious. I think mean, tedious. Because the only thing I don't like about the, the Zoom is the phone doesn't line up like it should. Like, you know, anyway, that's just a complaint I have about Zoom. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you have a fun memorial. Well, not memorial. What the heck? Come on. Day. It's a Monday, but it's not a fourth day. Anyway, you know what I mean? Labor Day. Get them all confused all the time. What day is it? It's Monday. Monday. Stay tuned. You know, you can uh, definitely smack that button right eh, Or, you know, and watch another tutorial if you feel like it. If you like the cat, leave me a just leave me a comment. You like the cat doing this? <laughs> How long has this been going on? Oh no, it's been going on too long.